Inside Gamer, yun number one. Wahoo! Well, first of all, how did it all start for you? Well, uh, let me start by saying, Hello to all of my friends at Inside Gamer. It's me, Mario. Wahoo! You know, I actually, I really did truly crash an audition 20 years ago. Uh, a friend of mine called me up and said, You've got to come down for this audition. It's for a, a trade show. And I said, Forget it. No way. I, I will never crash an audition. I'm a professional. Uh, what's the address? And so I, I don't know why, but I went and knocked on the door. It was late. Opened the door. And I, can I please read for this? The camera was literally in the bag. The producer and the cameraman were ready to walk out the door. And I caught them. You know? And they just, it was like, oh, uh, okay, all right. Come, come on in. We'll set up the camera. You're an Italian plumber from Brooklyn, so make up an accent. And you're in a video game character. You're going to have these contacts glued to your face. So these sensors, when you move, it'll translate through a big supercomputer. And that will make the cartoon character go. So you say hello. It'll say hello, we hope. If it doesn't work, you've got to talk to people anyway all day. So just make up a game, make up talk. And just whenever you're finished talking, that's your audition. And I, and I, and I literally, as like I, had, I hadn't played a video game since Pong and Space Invaders. I, I had no idea that there could be a character in a video game. <laughs> you know? And, and so I'm sitting thinking, well, that's, that's ah, what kind of a character? An Italian plumber from Brooklyn, you know? How you doing? I'm under your sink. Don't bother me. You know? And I, I thought, well, I don't want to do comedy like that or, you know, interesting, entertain people like that. I want it to be more fun. And, and I'm sitting there thinking, and all of a sudden, I hear action, and I turn to the camera and say, hello, I'm Mario. Okie dokie, let's make a pizza pie together. And I start talking about making pizza pies and raviolis and spaghetti meatballs and chasing each other and running around the place and, and then eating and then chasing each other some more. And I, I don't know what I said, but I talked for 30 or more minutes until I heard, cut, stop, there's no more videotape, that, that's fine, thank you, we'll be in touch. Which I thought, okay, that's the end of it, I'll never hear from these people, I'll go to the beach and watch the sunset. So I leave, and, but sure enough, I walk out the door, and the phone, he's right on the phone immediately to Don James, whose idea the whole uh, animation system was. He said, I found our Mario, uh, I got him, and that, that was the only tape that he sent up there, was my tape, and he liked it, and Mr. Miyamoto liked it, and wahoo, that was 20 years ago, you know, and I still am talking. <laughs> Your voice was in uh, the video game only from 1995, I believe. Yeah. So, uh, what, what, what happened with the voice before that? Before that, it was all in the Mert, the Mario in real time, and then there was Wirt, Wario in real time, then there was Dirt, Donkey Kong in real time. So I would do that at trade shows, corporate events, sales meetings, and things like that. And then in 1996, uh, I got a wonderful phone call from the creative team in Seattle. They said, do you want to come up and record a Mario game? Mr. Miyamoto loves your voice and wants you to be in the game. And I said, Wahoo! Let's go! Went up to Seattle and that uh, in 1996, uh, uh, Mario 64. And that was uh, uh, so much fun. That In that day, we established so many, you know, ideas and things just kept coming out. And you know, I, one of my favorite things ever is spaghetti, ravioli, mamma mia. You know, it's just really fun. <laughs> and do you have to like uh, get into the Mario mood? Do you have to uh, kick some turtles and stomp some <laughs> insects or anything? You know, Mario is such a great character. It's, he's such a tribute to the genius of Mr. Miyamoto that, that he creates these characters that are marvelous and full and rich and, and, and dynamic, happy and alive. And for me, the characters are always right there at the drop of a hat, you know, or whatever you drop to have the thing just, it appears. Because Mario is such a great part of my life that I always want to be more like him. <laughs> But uh, you don't get to say get any say in uh, in like a new Mario game. I I trust absolutely uh, that Mr. Miyamoto and his creative team they know exactly what's right to do because I you know for me I would love to say oh let's let's create a Waluigi game and, and you have to cheat to win you know and I always put you know put things out there like that that are fun you know and silly but I know that they know exactly what they they want to create to make the great games you know like. Uh, Super Mario Galaxy 2, that was born in a way out of Galaxy, the, the original Galaxy, 
the creative team that made the game were so much in love with the process and with the game and they had so many more ideas that they were ready that were coming out and flowing every day into the into the stream of of Nintendo and Mr. Miyamoto said wait all these great ideas let's put them into a game let's let's make a Super Mario Galaxy 2 wahoo and you know that's how it was born but there's no Waluigi level in it. Wang, <laughs> what about me? <laughs> and um, uh, you, you also did some voice acting for other games, for more, uh, uh, with more lines, of course, like uh, Skies of Arcadia, Legends, and Resonance of Fate. Is it any different from a recording for a Mario game? Well, you know it is. When you have more dialogue, you you do things. But the essential part of voice acting is you uh, study your life as an actor. And then when you see a character, or you're doing a character, you let go of all the study and you just play. You know, you just have fun with it. You know, whether it's a you know a little old Englishman or a you know a, an angry American guy. You know, you just you just get in and do what you're supposed to do. But of course, the most fun thing to do is Mario games because it's the explosive energy of joy and fun, or or Mario. You know that each character is so dynamic and so alive and so wonderful. You know, and then that's a tribute to to Mr. Miyamoto is that this uh, is 30 years of Mario, uh, where the character is still uh, better than ever because uh, the Nintendo uh, people and Mr. Miyamoto they have integrity in the game always it's the the aim is always to make the best game they can make the most fun and it's such a huge amount of work that goes into creating a game because there's infinite possibilities of, of what you can do you you turn right or left or up or down there has to be something there that catches you and engages you and that's what mr miyamoto does and the creative team does that it is just so brilliant is everywhere you go you're captured <laughs> The question is not, am I Mario or is Mario me? The question is whether Mario is as cool as Luigi. Isn't Luigi m m much more sympathetic? He might not be as heroic as Wario. But Wario is the most bad character of all. <laughs> Ever rotten day. <laughs> Although, well, Luigi, he's a crooked as well. Uh, one thing is for certain, mm -mm, nobody, no, everybody likes baby Mario. Woohoo! He's a fun. Mm -hmm. Somebody like baby Luigi too. <laughs> well, they all have a long way to go before being as cool as Mar Luigi and Mario, but they are because they really are Luigi and Mario. So in the end, I love to say the most, Mamma mia, it's-a me, Mario. Woohoo! <laughs>